Hello friends, today we're going to learn how to add a node at the end of a linked list. Okay, uh, as, uh, as you can see, I uh, have created this uh, node uh, class that has two constructors, one that takes just data and the next node points to null in this constructor that takes data and the next node uh, points to an actual and to another actual node. So what we're going to do is to append a node at the end of a linked list. First, we need to create our method. It's going to look like this. Append to tail. And then our argument is going to be a node, node type. And it's going to be a new node. And then what we're going to do is I want to create uh, this current node that's going to take the actual linked list, as you can see. And then we're going to create a while loop. And this while loop is going to iterate through the terms inside the linked list. While is now equal to null. Because, let me check this next node. This is going to check the next node. So it's checking the next value of each, of each node. And if equals to null, keeps iterating. So our current node is going to be updated to the next node. So current node equals to next node. So that's, this is going to allow us to iterate through the whole linked list. And when we reach the end, when, when the current node, when the, when we terminate the current node and the next node is equals to null, that's the end. This is the current node, the next node. Is going to be assigned the new value that we have here and then this basically is going to give us the functionality that we're looking for so we save it and then we test and then in here as you can see i created this testing class this testing class what it does is i created a a node I created, I created another node here that takes this data and then the next the next and then the next node points to this node over here. So if we see how it looks like this is our linked list that it takes the value of one here and the next node is this node over here. Now we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to create and we're going to add another node at the end of the linked list. First, we create a node. So let's call it a second term equals to new node. And we're going to create it with data equals to seven. Okay, now, what we do is we're going to add this now at the end of the linked list. So we do it like this: head dot uh, next uh, append. We're going to append it this second term. And as you can see, with done that, now we're going to print the contents. We save this and we run. And as you can see, we added this node at the end of the linked list. 